some way. Eh? X plus y equal to square. Is x square equal y square plus 2xy. Y should be equal to 2xy. It is x y plus y x. But because x and y are commuting variables, so x into y is equal to y into x. And therefore I write it 2x. And therefore I write x plus y whole square equal to 2x square. So without realizing that all these variables that we studied in our schools and even in the early college, college early stages, they were bosonic variables. Bosonic variables are if two of you are sitting here and for some reasons you want to change your seat, interchange your seat, but you don't find you see we exchange and you simply switch off, switch over from one seat to another, these are bosonic variables. Named after Sadevanath Bose, the great physicist of India. Uh, although for very obvious reasons, he never got a Nobel Prize, but that's outside of the song. It's happens. <laughs> it's a part of life. Okay. But for changing and changing your seat, if you find you will pick up a parent, then you are in harmonic values. So Fermi particles named after Enrico Fermi, this great Italian scientist. So they, they, they pick up a minus sign if they change the place. So they can become x into y is not y into x but minus y into x. They are n become. There are little, little things behind every great thing. And if we unfold them, cut into pieces, we might know things are so simple, right? We start looking at them in a much simpler manner. Then they are working on a point. Now, we know I'm telling the story from the point of view quantum theory. So, actually, the theories, uh, quantum theory, would tell you some bosonic particles and some thermionic particles that we all consist of matters. Matter is electrons, pulse, protons, neutrons, and so on. They are matter particles. All of them have uh, half integral distance. They are Fermi particles, fermionic. Fermi particle means they open Fermi Dirac statistics. Bosonic particles means they open both Einstein statistics. So uh, you can split all the bigger things into smaller things and then. You just live with it in a very natural way. So, so we know it. Now, let me tell you <coughs> that at the moment, uh, we have two fundamental theories of nature with us, which are uh, fundamental, the most fundamental. One is quantum theory, one is direct. And Prior to that, I must remind you that you see, universe was born something like 13.7 billion years ago. Okay. So, present of the age of the universe is something like 13.7. Uh, I would not go into the debates on such philosophical aspects. Why? As a scientist, I also believe in these modern findings of science and cosmology and everything. Uh, unless otherwise at some point of time somebody will disprove. Find this is the age of the universe is 13.7 billion years. We find this fact is debatable. Uh, at the moment I could not debate. Uh, I will keep it outside the purview the scope of my job because that can become uh, too philosophical. And uh, let's leave the philosophy for little bit later in stages. Right? right? Uh, but you can always so there is nothing so there should be nothing really in life. Okay? I mean this is the general But I myself find it really like how do we know that the universe that the universe of this much years? Well that's not a bad question. In fact what happens uh, you need sometimes a lot of input to be able to understand something. Right? If you tell a student of 9th standard or 6th or 7th, 8th standard that x y is equal to y x because x and y are commuting variables, you will be completely lost. 
You will buy x into y is not y into x. Y x and y is minus y into x. So you cannot introduce the concept of Fermi variables at that stage. We need to wait. We need to develop ourselves up to that stage to be able to understand that. That's the only simple way that I look at. Okay. So uh, there are so many things. You see. Uh, uh, as my students and friends know and then they think about myself I am a, a person who is all the time lost in books and literature and reading and talking to students and friends my best friends are my students and, and every day I make new friends so and uh, this is my main hobby you see reading, learning and teaching spreading knowledge is one of my aims of life I think I am in a stage where I it's my responsibility to to give you, transfer you, give you some knowledge to all the I mean when I lecture everywhere, all around, including outside the world. And they are all students are students. You see, they will be told of what doesn't matter. They are or less clear or whatever doesn't matter. They are all students. And they are all curious. And it is the responsibility of senior people like me to educate uh, the younger. Uh, what is the use of connecting knowledge if you don't distribute it? So the knowledge increases by distribution. See, that is the thing. So, but what I wanted to say that uh, by mentioning that universe was born 13.7 million years ago. The next sentence that I would say is the fundamental laws of nature, fundamental forces of nature, they were also born right at that time. We are trying to learn and understand them now. Life evolves slowly, slowly, slowly. Provoking on your thoughts. And 
so it describes physics of the largest solar system ls universe right possibly multiverses and so and uh, on the other hand the quantum theory describes also cosmos but microcosmos so it describes the law of microcosmos our friend echo the novel from from netherlands i have met him several times uh, and he they i they have several similarities uh, he is also a student looking person uh, according to the judge and german standards not to talk something like you and a simple person you could talk with the piece of talk all the time including in the international big conferences it's a very simple simple person and this uh, everything we evolve from fundamentals of things in any direction in any direction of science and engineering and technology so we must keep control we must keep our interest alive in fundamentals Never even in Delhi, in school, in Delhi, in the actual college, in Delhi, in the town, no. No. Now, one day, we will be there. We are not ready. I can consult it again. But I have studied earlier, and so I have many, many books. Which, if I lost it during my travel and so on, I again try to procure them. These days, you can buy many good things on Amazon, including S L Lawney, which I used to read in my first class in India. On all the different holy bibles. See on on. Uh, Mathematics, they 